Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from tech for all This is Saifuddin Ghanizada. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can install the new Notepad application in any version of Windows 11. First of all, let's check the current version of Windows. Open Run and type WinVer and press the OK button. As you can see guys, that it is a newly and fresh installed of Windows 11, which is 22000.194. Now let's check the Notepad application version. Open Start menu and search for Notepad. Open the Notepad. Click on the Help menu and select About Notepad. As you can see, that the current Notepad version is 10.2102.13.0. Now let's close the notepad file and open our web browser. Navigate to this link. After the link is opened, you have to modify a few settings. Click on the drop down and change URL to product ID. Click on the drop down of RP and change it to fast. Now search for this application. Click on this icon to search for this product ID. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and download the Notepad file version 11.2110.64.0. Download the 64 bit version. Click on the M6 bundle. Now open the downloads folder. Point to be noted that you need to install the 7-zip application so that you can extract this file. Let me install the 7-zip application. I have copied the 7-zip application and I will paste it in the downloads folder. Double click on the 7-zip application and click on yes button. Click on install button. The 7-zip is installed now. Click on the close button to close the installation wizard. Now select the notepad file and right click on it. Select 7-zip and select extract to a specific folder. Open the extracted folder. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Select the Notepad 11.2110 64-bit version, right-click on it, and select 7-zip, and then select Extract to a specific folder. Now, let's go to the top of the page again, and open the newly extracted folder. Now, select the appxmanifest.xml file, right-click on it, and open it with a notepad file. In this notepad file, you have to change three settings or three text. The first text is this one. You need to change the 22468 to 22000. The next setting or text that you need to change is this text. Change the 30035 to 29135. And the third setting or the third text that you need to change is this one. Change it also to 29135. Now close the application. If you are asked to save the file, click on save button. Now you need to delete the Apex metadata folder, the content types, the Apex block map, and the Apex signature map files. Select the files and click on the delete button to delete the files. Now you need to enable the Windows developer mode. Open start menu and search for developer mode. Select developer settings and turn on the developer mode. If you are prompt, 
click on the yes button close the settings now open windows powershell run the powershell as administrator click on yes button and type this command i have put down the command in the description copy it and paste it in the windows powershell After you have typed the command, press the enter button from your keyboard. Now type this command. Now open the Windows Explorer again. Select the AppX manifest file, right click on it, and select copy as path. Open the Windows PowerShell again, and paste the path of the file by right clicking on Windows PowerShell. And press enter from your keyboard. Now close the Windows PowerShell and close the Windows Explorer. Open a Start menu and search for Notepad file. Open the Notepad file. Here, as you can see, guys, that the Notepad file is upgraded. To verify the upgrade, click on the Settings button. Here you can see that the Notepad file version is changed to 11.2110.64. And the main feature of this point is that you can enable the dark mode in the Notepad file. How cool is it? I have put down the edited Apex manifest file download link in the description. All you need to do is download it and paste it in the extracted Notepad file and then run the commands. And that's all for today guys, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial, till then have nice time.